My lords and my ladies of the royal court, an incident from the life of the precious Mahatma Gandhi. Now, you see, like I explained to you, they call this here cat the Hip Gan. That's what they call him. That's what everybody call him the Hip Gan, the sweet, precious Hip Gan. Because India was swung India. He wailed India. He gassed India. He grooved India. Now, I'm going to tell you why. You see, India was bugged with the lion. Every time India get a little extra scarf in the cupboard, wham, here come the lion, chomp, swoop the scene, and there stand the poor Indian scarfless, bugged him to death. That was uh, before the hip gan blew in on the scene, see. And the day that the hip gan blew in on the scene seemed to be the lion's big swinging day, because he was into that scarf's patch up to his shoulders, scoffing up an insane breeze. So the hip gan back away about 30 or 40 feet, and he hold out his arms cool-wise, and he do a running, bar jumping, mop whapped on that lion's tail so hard that the lion swooped the scene, and that gassed Indian. Gassed him. So naturally we turn, they want to gas him back. So Mr. Ribbity, the Indian pop trailer, he sent out the, all the notes to all the Indian musicians to the Ribbity players and the Dong Dong players and the Dang Dang players and the Mang Long players and the Reed Heads and the Lude Heads and the Blue Teds and all the blowing heads there was to come on in that they're going to gas a big jam session for the gang. And whew, here they come. Here they come, the happy group grooving into this big place to send and swing the gang. And when they all get in there together, Mr. Rabbity, the Indian pop trailer, he stand up he said, boys, you know what to blow when the saint comes marching in. They say, groovy. So here come the gang with the 26 chicks with the horn rim glasses and 19 nanny goats and two spinning wheels. And he looks so sharp and so fine and so groovy because he got a nice clean white dow dow on and the, the love light is beaming through his glasses and gassing the whole scene. And they swing him in and they sit him down on some nice groovy sofa pillars, silken that is, and the, the, the cool the nanny goats and the chicks all cuddle and they start to blow. And my lords and my ladies, I'm going to hip you. You may heard a lot of jam sessions blown off. You may have heard of New Orleans flips. You may have heard of Chicago style. You may have heard of all kinds of jazz jumping the wildest and the most insane. You may have heard of many musical insane flips, but you studs and stallions and cats and kiddies never dug any session like these cats blew. They wailed so hard that the snakes in the jungle picked up on the lick and come stomping in for the session had to send out the snake gods. Ain't no dancing tonight, boys. We just hipping the gang. That's all. Playing little jam sessions. Brought the poor snakes clean down. And they had to send around the wig tappers, you see what I mean? Say, Jack, I can't put that wig back on you, man. You, it's going in the same hole. you blowing too hard. you got to cool yourself for a little while. And they're blowing up such a crazy, groovy scene that it was double you for your head. And when the scene was all over, Mr. Rabbi D, the Indian pot thriller, he swing over to the hip gang and he do a nice swing and bow and he say, Oh, great, sweet, swinging, groovy, double clutching, high, non stop, pine top go of all double swings in beauty. And the hip gang say, Well, if I ain't, I'm a big fat groovy pole on a rough hill on the way there. He said, tell me something. You see, he's a very hip cat, the hip gan was. He said, tell me something. Did you dig the scene? And the hip gan said, baby, when I hear them rabbity players and the dong dong players and the blue bloom players and the flip heads and the lute heads and the reed heads and all these bars wailing up such an insane love breeze, it brought to me the beauty and the mysticism and the wonder and the gorgeous theme and the gorgeous swing and all the great wild non-stop Etheria, that is Mother India. So Mr. Rabbity say, well, your sweet hipness, I like to twist it my wig getting this session together for you, but I sure did enjoy it because I see the beauty in your face. But would you do me a little favor? Say, course, baby. He said, tell me, which one of the instruments did you dig the most? So the hip guy looked at him and a love look came on his face and he said, well, baby, <laughs> The music of all India, which I dig the most, the instrument, you ain't got here. 
Mr. Rapti said, man, what are you saying? It's all got the doom doom blaze and the bang bang blaze and the liberty blaze then the reed heads and the loot heads and every head that I could dig up a swing out of the jungle here to blow with his cat. He'd tell me the one he'd dig the most I ain't got it. I said, that's right. He said, well, sweet double hypnose, great beloved nonstop beauty, straighten me, cause I'm ready. And the hip guy said, that's right, that's right. Well, here's the lick. He said, baby, the instrument of all India, which I dig the music the most of, the swings my soul up in a great cathedral head of beauty, is the music of the it's a the spinning wheel, baby. Knock a little patch on the cat's pants. Swing a coat on grandma. Get a little juice on the table. Swang up with a little circus money. He said, the spinning wheel, baby. <laughs> I hope I didn't bring you down. <laughs>